Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today, especially since we are kind of introducing a new series or more so just editing an old series. Um, one of my favorite series has been the Max That series and... Uh, it was kind of fading away towards the end of Town Hall 9 because all of our defenses were max and all we really had left to max was our heroes and our walls. So it got kind of repetitive and, and boring in my opinion. Um, so what we're doing now is max that Town Hall 10. <laughs> As you can see in the top right, we've got a lot of gold. I've been barching all day. Um, I barched a lot during my stream today. If you guys didn't stop by the stream, you missed a good one. Uh, definitely stop by tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, I generally stream from about 1 to 4.30 or so, so about three and a half hours. Um, so definitely stop by. We're going to be doing a lot, a lot of raiding and just filling up my gold storages. At the same time, I am going to be trophy pushing, though. I'm, I'm going to try and make it to champs. Um, now that I can play a lot more um, and all that kind of stuff, I think I'll be able to. A lot of people are giving me crap and saying, Mocha barely make it to Masters. But the reason for that was because I was working a full-time job then and I could raid like four times a day and then my base was just open. The only way that you can make it to Champs or even Masters is if you can consistently raid a lot in a row. I couldn't do that except for on the weekends and at that point I didn't want to spend my weekends just raiding. Um... So yeah, I really think that we're going to be able to make it to Champions or at least like Masters 1, but if we make it to Masters 1, we better freaking make it to Champions if I have anything to say about it. Um, so I'm super excited. My hair looks freaking ridiculous. So I am super, uh, I'm super excited about that. I think that it's going to be a lot of fun for us to do. I think you guys are going to enjoy that, but that is a separate series altogether that I'm going to be starting very, very soon. I'm going to be, um, hopefully barching up to Crystal 1 or so, um, and then I'm going to start using Go Wipe and Balloonian probably, so yeah. But why don't we go ahead and, um, we're going to go and find a barch raid, hopefully, and... Uh, see what we can find. This one doesn't look too bad. Um, and there's a pretty good amount of loot and a good amount of trophies on it. So why don't we uh, why don't we take out this mortar right here? And uh, I wonder if, if any of that will take out the sweet. So that took out the uh, Archer Queen's platform as well. So we already have 3%. So we're just going to attack from down here at the bottom now that that mortar can't shoot at us. Um, drop off a good amount of our barbarians and then follow it up with archers. The way that barch works is uh, you just use your barbarians as meat shields pretty much uh, and then your archers uh, shoot over them and cause the majority of the damage to the base. Um, so we just follow it up like this and you can see that we're already at um, about 36%. I'm going to see if I can take out this gold mine down here and then 46% and just working our way in still and there's 50% right there. Very, very cheap rating and I'm going to get 11 trophies for it. So uh, it's fast, especially if you have your barracks boosted um, and you get your loot bonus. So as you're pushing up, you get your loot bonus, which pays off really, really quickly. Um, and uh, I think all we have is this lonely archer down here in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and finish right there. So we got uh, 70,000 gold and 70,000 elixir because of the loot bonus. And it didn't take that long. So in two attacks, um, if you just find a, a base like that that has good trophies but not really that much loot, then you're going to be fine. You're going to end up uh, making a pretty good amount of of money from all of your resources and whatnot. But what we're going to do today, let's see, um, our cannons take 6,400, our wizards take 64, um, or 6,480,000. Uh, so I think I'm going to upgrade my favorite defense in the game, which is not the mortar. Nope. In fact, it is the wizard tower. So that's going to take 10 days. How long do these take to upgrade? 10 days. Yep. I am going to upgrade this wizard tower right here, and I'm super excited about it because eight more damage per second when wizards shoot at like 1.2 seconds or maybe even a little bit more. They shoot once per like every 1.4 seconds, something along those lines. So that means that every time that they shoot, it's going to be about 60 damage, uh, maybe even a little bit more. So then you can come in here 
and you can see your troops and you can see that um, all right so it's not gonna kill a barbarian but it'll definitely kill any archer in one shot um, it'll kill any goblin in one shot it'll kill any wall breaker in one shot it'll kill all those things in one shot once it's max so that's awesome uh, you can look up the times online as to how fast things shoot and then you just multiply it by percentages whatever so that would be um, what's it gonna be I can't freaking click on it nope not the wall oh that would have been so stressful <laughs> I accidentally upgraded the wall uh, so it's gonna be 48 so 48 times 1.4 would be I don't know 48 times 1.5 would be plus 24 48 plus 24 blah 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 whatever whatever um, so that's how you calculate that which is really really cool so I'm gonna upgrade that right now it's gonna take 10 days we only have 93,000 gold left <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, I'm super excited about this, guys. I hope that y'all are as well. It's going to be a lot of fun to max out this Town Hall 10. Um, it's going to take a very, very long time. And hopefully Supercell doesn't come out with a Town Hall 11 anytime soon. But who knows? They might. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that y'all are excited just like I am. We're going to be coming out with another episode for Road to Champions. And that's pretty much just going to be multiple attacks in an episode probably one to two live attacks and then maybe two uh two attack replays and then probably a defensive replay which we can go ahead and throw in right here and i'll show you guys that this is the first attack on my new base it was five hours and 17 minutes ago the other one was just for lightning um we can replay it and see that this guy actually did attack the base in an effort to get into the town hall uh he has level 22 heroes and he has all maxed out troops otherwise. So his wizards are maxed, his wall breakers are maxed, everything is maxed, and he was not able to defeat the base. Um, obviously, he wasn't just going for the loot because otherwise he wouldn't have used an army like that, in my opinion. Um, and he has all of his giants coming in here into the middle. You can see he drops off the rest of his barbarians right there. Drops off that heal spell. Now, he does get his wall breakers into the middle of the base right there so that could be a uh something i need to work on when it comes to the design of it maybe figuring out something to do right here at that juncture but you can see that they all get in there and my inferno towers are very very well protected behind those expos for people that attack from that right side so if you attack my base don't attack from that side but you can see his uh his barbarian king is in here he's trying to do work but the expo is just going at him um, he takes out the Inferno Tower, but both of those Expos take him out. And the Queen is just up here trying to go to work, but sadly they were not able to get 50%, which probably stressed that guy out a lot um, because that was an expensive army with all those uh, with all those wizards. And now he has to wait a long time for his heroes to finish up. So that was the first attack on the base. It looks like it held up pretty well. Um, again, that was um, maybe what I should do to prevent... Uh, what just happened from happening again is bringing this all the way in here. So taking a couple of these walls, putting those right there. Um, <clears throat> we might can even, let's go ahead and just bring it out one. So we'll do this and then we will do that right there. And we can put a builder's hut in there. And then I guess, will the cannon still fit here? <laughs> no. So the cannon won't fit there anymore. Um, so we're just going to move these over here. Come on, cannon, you're in the way now. Where the freak was it? All right, so we're just going to store the cannon right there for a second. We're going to put this over here. And then now the cannon can fit right in. Nope, it can't. I need to move that other thing. I am being stupid. So we're going to put this right here. And then the cannon should be able to fit right there. Um, just being a nuisance on this top corner. Uh, we could even move it somewhere else if we wanted to in the future, but I think that's fine right now. So that's going to keep that from happening because now in order to get to the middle, they have to go through one, two, um, three walls. When I don't believe in that, let me check real quick in that attack if they did in fact attack the, uh, the if the wall breakers attacked where the cannon was they did not because the cannon was down uh, they did right there but they came in and broke that uh, t-joint right there so now no matter what they're going to have to uh, blow this up first so that's good that should change the way that somebody attacks that top corner um, but that's gonna be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it 
And uh, make sure you go to twitch.tv forward slash gaming with Molt. Check on there. I'm going to be streaming every day this week from 1 o'clock Eastern time to about 4, 4.30, something along those lines. Um, and if you guys want to help me out with App Nanny, you can. My code and everything is in the description. If you guys don't know what it is, just click on the link. Sign up. You and your friends can help you get free. Oh, that was a burp. Free gems. Uh, but, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Y'all rock. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.